hi all so today in this video we are going to see about how we can create read only grid field with custom filters and uh, local variables as well okay so generally what we used to do here is let's say this is a read only grid field okay and the table that i am going to use it's a custom table okay which is there okay the name of my table is customers here okay now the table this is my table and i have also created the record for this table that is ys customer here is the record and all the values are present here okay and even cdt is also ready for uh, use okay now if i have to create a read only grid field with the help of record it becomes very easy okay what it wants it just need like what record you want to do and everything appian will do by itself see here i refer my record i my complete read only grid is ready okay my complete grid all the data that is available in my database every data i am able to call it okay but in some scenario like i am not able to use this data at all okay the record is not available okay to use or if we want to create the same grid field with the help of some expression rules okay and add some custom fil filters in that so let's see how we can do uh, do that okay so this is my grid field okay and this is the data so first of all we have to create a expression rule okay so that we can get the data from the database okay so again this expression rule will do what is that it will try to query the data from the database based on that only we will prepare our grid so what we will do let's create directly from query editor only it becomes a bit relatively easier okay easy it becomes now data store entity let's say i let's see if i don't have a constant so i will go and i will create a constant for the data store entity okay and this is my data store entity and my data store is why is data store okay and customers Okay, so this is my entity is going to. So this is my data store entity just now I have created. So let me go here and in the data store entity I will paste that constant here and based on that it will try to get me the data here. Now let's click on continue. Okay, so what we will do here is uh, add a filter as well. Okay, we we might need to filter the data because we need some custom filters. We will uh, need to filter the data based on let's say some states are there, right? Ha huh. based on a state i will find uh, create a some filter so uh, i will add a rule input here okay some state value will go in here let me just go in the it will be of text here okay okay and here in the field i will just add my state value okay let's add it here as well ri bang state and let me let's generate the query so see simply uh, we can easily generate the query directly from the query editor as well right so if i give any state ca let's see what the what data we will get so for ca 11 data items are there okay changes here now we will go back in our grid how we can do that here now i have the data in my expression rule what i need to do here is that i need to refer that data here so instead of directly referring my expression rule in the data part what i will do here is i will refer in a local variable so that i can use it multiple times as well if it is stored in some variable so local bank customer customer data and let's say rule bank one is the one okay and it has one parameter state so state as of now i don't have any state available with me so i will just give it null okay let's see like what is the data that we are getting here so we are getting you know like all this data if you click on this link you will find all the data we are getting here 50 items are here by default and how many data are in the database so in the database 122 is there so i will just try to increase my data batch size as well now what i will do i just need the data so i will just use dot data and now here i will refer local bank customer data so that's it so i have refer my customer data and now uh, okay let me just click on test once now see here 122 it has read it now we have to create the grid column so let's create some columns as well here so now let's create grid column here okay the label what we can give the labels here let's say what labels are there customer id is there so i will name it here customer id okay and what is the value going to be the value is going to be fv bank row okay dot customer 
okay dot customer what we have here let me just copy the value from here and paste it ha huh. make sure this you know like uh, this value whatever we are writing it is exactly the same in the cdt part okay because from cdt only it will read it now customer id we have tried to uh, written great now after that i will try to refer some other value uh, let's say name as well i will read paste it here so this is my customer name after that what is the other values that we can get it here city state and country also we can refer easily okay so let me just uh, now uh, next value that we can refer is state uh, city state and country so what i will do here is just uh, okay just copy paste the same thing okay let me just copy paste it three times now here i will refer my city so city is like city only here i will refer the state okay so here it will be the state one and here i will just refer my country so country is also done so all these values are read so my read only grid field is ready now after the i want some custom filters let's move about that now so what i will do here is above we need custom custom filter custom filter so i will take a columns layout here and in that uh, i will try to drag drop down fields okay let's say we we needed two filters okay so i have just dragged them drop down uh, fields here because uh, filters like you know like it will be drop down you will select some value first of all let's say we will select state so first drop down we will configure for our state now when user will come here and the state they should see all the state data as well as of now we are not seeing any state data as well okay so what we what we can do here is we will create local bank selected state the state user has selected now if user will select some state here see here state ca it has selected now the ca will go back in the expression rule it will try to get the data of the state and it will try to display that particular value here but here we have given null it means that this data will also pass in here as well selected state okay so i am made and what are the states available local bank you can say just you know like i will make it states so some states i will just make it as a kind of here nv okay i hope it is nevada okay ca is there california okay and ny is there let's say i will just take three states only as of now okay so my choice levels is going to be what what user will see it will be local bank states and my choice value is going to be local bank states okay and uh, we have to also give here value value will be what local bank selected state because if user selects it it will go and sit in this local variable local bank selected state great now it is a time to see the uh, working of this so here if you select let me just click on test once great it has some data ca if i select ca then so then what happens exactly see what 11 data we are getting if i put ca here as well here as well i got 11 data only okay so it is working fine what if i put here nv so let's see if i put nv only one data i have got for the nv only one data would be available then okay uh, let's check eh, from my expression rule as well here nv okay ha only one data is there so it is working correct so this is how you need to make it first of all you query your data as it is okay the data will come from local bank and this data will get you know, like filtered based on what user selected let's configure you know, like the second drop down as well uh, let's uh, make this drop down as a kind of country here okay so uh, similarly i have to give here first of all user will select some country so local bank selected country i will make it okay and some country list as well i will make it here local bank countries okay so what i can write in the countries let's say what are the different countries france is there usa is there okay and france usa i will just write it okay so france is okay one more country i am including here poland now how to configure our drop downs you have to go like what user will see the data in the labels so i will use local bank 
countries this is the data and when the user select this data okay what is the value going to set this one okay and the value that i will write here is nothing but local bank uh, uh, selected country okay great and here in the save into as well local bank selected country okay now it is now let's click on test once see here now our uh, filters are made right if a state is you know like nv so only one uh, only one thing is there if, what if i select germany so nv is like nevada right so then i should uh, okay not get any data at all okay let's see california here all the california is there if i select usa but nothing is happening right because this data is just sitting here we have to refer this data in our expression rule as well okay in order to refer that data so i will create one more filter here and this filter will get the country data okay and it will be also of text type and the one time if we have created a filter you know like rest time it becomes easier you just have to copy and paste it okay and just change the values okay and ri by country we will make it fine now let's me save my change here now here we will be able to see our other field as well country so country will be what local bank selected country great now it will try to filter it the way we want it okay uh, let's see here if i select okay if i select let's say usa let's say how many data we are getting for usa 36 is there now in the 36 if i choose nv only one data is available for nb in 36 if i select ca so for ca multiple data is there 11 is there what if i select new york ny so six data are there so in that way we are trying to like uh, create our custom filters here okay and uh, we are trying to show the data okay what if the use case is something like like if no state no country selected then don't show any data at all what if that condition is there so in that condition you know like if both are null or if any of them are null right if any of them are null then i don't want uh, okay till the point i want to sh not show my data right if so i will write my if condition here if okay or if or of i will just make a condition here is null or empty okay local bank selected state if selected state is null or is null or empty local bank selected country or if selected country is there if any of them is true is null okay so uh, and okay if both of them are null then that's fine i will just use and like this see here not or with and it will make more sense because you know, like uh, i don't want both of them to be null if any one of them is present i should get my data okay see i i am getting my data if, but if no value is selected then i'm not getting my data and you can also customize this you know like uh, uh, no items available as well okay that is done with the help of empty uh, grid message okay no data to show next time it will show whatever you have written see insert no data to show that's it so we have tried to check you know like if i select ny then i will get all the ny data but what if i selected country france new york is not related to france then it will show not data no any data available so in this way you can easily create a read only grid with the help of custom filters and if you okay if no data is selected then at that time you can add a condition here as well like there is no data to show as soon as you select any country like i don't i'm want to know about germany so you will get all the germany data okay so i hope this will be helpful okay in creating the custom filters okay so that's all for now thank you